What up, everybody? Face here, and today we're unboxing the Mankind GameStop exclusive Lunchbox Funko set. You know, I got Cactus here just chilling. Let's go. Alright boys, let's get into it. Hope all is well. Uh, of course, we didn't make no pre-cuts. Doing something a little different today, y'all. A little different. So I was at GameStop yesterday. Not really looking for anything. And then I seen uh, the Ninja Spawn. And I was like, oh, finally. And then uh, I look up. Well, first I found this. I'll put this here while I get this plastic. We found that Cactus Jack and the gentleman that was working at GameStop was uh, helping somebody else and he heard me say, ah, F. <laughs> it's messed up, meaning the box was messed up. So when he got done with the gentleman he was helping, and this might be one of the best GameStop employees I've ever dealt with because when he got done helping his customer he didn't come up to me or nothing he went right in the back and was like is this what you're looking for mint condition i was like oh yes yes it is thank you and then after he handed me that i look up and boom wouldn't you know now mick is actually coming to winchester in october that's where, I, where i'm from and uh, so with the shop that I go to, um, they have a lot of guys come and sign, you know, they, well, I think Sabu's going to be there today. They had Billion Dollar Man there like two days ago. And uh, my money's been so funny, I ain't been able to uh, go to those. Last one I did go to was Dan Housen. So I'm definitely going to go meet Mick. So that's what inspired me to get these. So I'd like to get them to sign this and whatever's in this lunchbox. So I remember riding home, I was like, cause you know, I I, I, I got a decent Funko collection. And, uh, ooh. and uh, I was like, man, I wonder if this, this, I wonder if they got this Cactus Jack inside of here. And boy, no need to wonder anymore. No way. Wow. Oh, it's really heartbreaking. I mean, you would think in a box, it, they didn't have it protected or nothing in here, man. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to go to GameStop today. Oh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. Look how messed up this freaking box is. Oh, I'm glad I opened it on camera because we're going to be taking this to GameStop, dude. All right, well, it's going to be another trip I got to take today. won't be opening none of these today because I'm actually taking it back but you get this little card which is pretty cool keychain um, pen and two socks boy I just killed my whole vibe I'm not even gonna lie to you wow and I was planning on opening all this and showing you, but we're not going to. Is it one sock? Just one sock, huh? Couldn't even give me two socks. Um, oh, this is going to be a short video. Wow. This is why I stopped messing with Funko, man. They just don't get it right. 
I mean, this is crazy. Why wouldn't you put this in a case inside that pail? Oh, man. Oh, hopefully GameStop makes this right, dude. Uh, well, maybe I'll, I'll vlog today and continue this video, but shh, getting cut short. If uh, y'all buy this lunchbox and um, it comes out damaged, uh, I'm sorry, man. That's uh, really unfortunate. Oh, man. Well, short video, I guess. Oh. One, two, three, four. I mean, every corner is damaged besides this over here. Oh. Well, it was real, y'all. Quick little video. I don't know how uh, how long is this. Uh. I'll still upload it, I mean, but I'll keep y'all uh, updated because this is unacceptable. I'm going to have to take this back to GameStop and see if I can get it get it exchanged. So, all right, man, I salute. All right, so we just left GameStop. The dude was awesome. Just let me uh, swap out the whole lunchbox, and I asked him. I was like, man, if I can re if I can open it here just to see, and he he was awesome about it. So. Yep, good to go. All right, and we're back from GameStop, and they, uh, you know, phone code messed up, but GameStop made it right. Uh, surprisingly, you know, this is the same one. I did get a plastic protector, and then, so when I went into GameStop, uh, I thought they opened up at 10.30, but they opened up at 11, so I got there uh, about 20 minutes early set out in the car and then they when they opened up i went in i took the box in and was like look man i you know he opened it up they had the receipt already in the lunch box and uh i said look man i i opened this up this morning and i showed it to him and he's like man there's really not much we can do but i can just get you another one and i was like sure and then uh i was like would you mind if i opened it here just to Make sure that pop isn't messed up. He's like, absolutely. So I opened it up. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's as good as it's going to get. You know what I mean? I'm not a pop grader. I'm not going to sit here and say it's 100%. I could probably, if I look hard enough, I could probably find something where I'd be like, ah. But it was nowhere near damaged as the first one I got. So that's good. So now, without being heartbroken and then thrown through a loop, let's actually go see what else is in this okay so you got mr. Sacco which we are going to get signed um, it'd be really cool to when the other side be like you know, ask Mick if he could draw his version of Sacco that way he can you know I mean this one would be here and then on the other side It'll have a, I'll have a custom drawn version by Mick with his, you know, on the other side, on this side right here, obviously. That'd be cool. I'm probably uh, asking a little too much for that. And then we have, I guess it'd be like a keychain thing. Kind of looks like a refrigerator magnet, maybe. That's what it is. And then behind that, it's like a pass, like a pass you would get at a show with a keychain. So that's pretty cool. Last but not least, you get the the pin. So all in all, if you're a wrestling fan, regardless if you're going to have an opportunity to meet Mick Foley or not, I mean I'm not going to be able to meet him till October. So anything can happen until then. And regardless, if you're a wrestling fan, 25 bucks, it's not a bad not a bad deal. So. I mean, come on, man, it's a lunchbox. Who don't like lunchboxes? You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that wraps it up, man. Uh, appreciate y'all sticking around to the end and y'all seeing pretty much every emotion that one man could have. Uh, put these back here. Well, I guess I should show off the pop a little bit. I know my angle is kind of a little messed up. 
one thing that threw me through a loop and I hear a lot of people complain about is that it's this version of mankind when the uh, lunchbox has this version of mankind which is he took a lot less bumps in this well, I can't even say that but I think uh, Mick said that when he switched to this attire it was to be a little more uh more of a comedic aspect so he didn't have to take as many bumps and then we get this mankind this mankind is my favorite version of mankind so i'm not complaining at all i'm not complaining at all so and then this cactus jack didn't come with the set but it was at gamestop and hey man he, even the guy that worked there yesterday was awesome he seen me uh like i said in the first part of this video he seen me look at this one or look look at the cactus jack and was like ah yeah, I, I think I even dropped the F-bomb. I was like, man. And then he didn't bother. He didn't come over and ask me. Oh, man. Looks like there might be a little tear there. Or it might be a hair. I don't know. He didn't ask me or anything. He went right in the back and found it for me. And I was like, ah, oh, you're the man. So, but. And the only ones I don't have out this set is, uh, I, I got Austin and China. But all right, y'all, I love y'all. Like, subscribe, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. If, if you, you know what I mean, enjoy this content and, you know, watching uh, me, uh, you know, uh, grow my collection and hopefully grow this channel. So hope y'all enjoy the journey, man. It's, trust me, it's as fun as it is for me than it is for anybody else. So all right, man, I salute.